I see you're all at it, hot and heavy already. Sit down, JR. I've got something to say. All right, sir. Now, Leela, my experts tell me that those wells in the Far East will eventually come in. Now, South Fork hadn't have been used to back up those loans so that Far East drilling, I might have been willing to gut it out. But now I'm going to sell those leases for 75 cents on the dollar. Daddy, you can't do this. You just can't. Sit down and shut up, JR. It's a hell of a deal, Vaughn. You think you can put together some buyers? Well, uh, this is quite a surprise. You're talking about a lot of money. Let me see if I can get some kind of a combine together. I'll get back to you by Friday. Well, now you do that. Daddy, when did you make this decision? This morning. And I saw the look on your mother's face. She watched a crew on Section 40. She agreed that we could drill on South Fork, eh? She agreed because she didn't have any other choice. And I'm going to do everything I can to stop it, you understand? Daddy, this is something we, we should sit down and discuss. Not a damn thing to discuss, Bobby. Your mama's been through enough. And I don't want this ranch turned into an oil field. Those Asian wells are going to come through, you said so yourself. JR, there's only one thing I'm interested in right now, and that's cash. Well, we'll get cash. We just need time, that's all. Well, we're just about to run out of time, JR. I want cash, and I want it fast. I want to get that money before we're forced to pump oil out of Section 40, you understand? Daddy, what JR did, mortgage in South Fork, you know how I feel about that, but it's done now. It's a gamble. We should write it out. It's not a gamble. Listen, I've been around this business long enough to know that there's no guarantees. It's a crapshoot. I want to tell you boys that we don't shoot crap for South Fork. Is that plain? Yep. Excuse me. I guess I'm not needed around here any longer. Bobby? Ed? Johnny? JR? I want Cattleman's come. When will you be back? I don't know. Should I get a table for him, Mr. Ewing? What's that? Will you be staying to lunch, sir? This is my lunch, George. Thank you. You, JR. I'm just sorry I had to be the one to blow the whistle on you. Bobby, you know, I just can't believe that you and I have the same mom and daddy. You're just too damn good to be rich. You know that. If you hadn't mortgaged South Fork, I wouldn't have said anything, not to anybody. Maybe your gamble would have paid off. I don't gamble. Those Asian oil wells are going to come in. Jordan? JR, the booze isn't going to solve anything. I don't need your advice, Bobby. And I don't understand your sudden concern for my welfare, either. I'm still your brother. Bobby, as far as I'm concerned, I'm an only child.